The XY plot interface is quite interesting. Rather than plotting data against time, we plot one set of data against another in kind of an XY manner. So let's take a look. Now that the interface is loaded, let's plot some data. Or right, just come over here to the control section, click on the rocker switch, and now we're plotting data. And as we see, the data is a little bit unusual in terms of what we normally expect our data to look like. What we're doing here is plotting two sets of data against each other. And if we look at the right hand side, we see that we have three sets of XY pairs. The first one is plotting channel 0 against channel 1. The next pair is plotting channel 2 against channel 3. And the third pair is plotting channel 4 against channel 5. Now, in our case, we have sine wave data that you've seen in the other videos being plotted. So that probably accounts for the unusual circles or ellipses and the uh, straight line. Let's take a little bit closer look at what we have here by changing these Y scales and X scales. We're going to make the plot a little bit bigger and move it out a bit more. All right, we see the data being plotted in this manner. And if you've never seen what two sine waves plotted against each other look like, well, this is one example of them. And again, it's very unusual to see a straight line being plotted with two sine wave values. But nevertheless, that's what it is. So we have the ability with this particular interface to plot x against y. Let's go over here to the right and take a look at what we're seeing. The right hand side is showing the xy data in numerical form as it progresses. And we have a button down here that says connect points and it's pressed right now and engaged, meaning that the points of this particular data are being connected one to the other, although it's somewhat hard to see with what we have. So let's unconnect the points, reset the plot, and take a look at it. It appears that we're connecting the points anyway, but we're really not. Let's expand the data quite a bit. And we'll do that by, there we go. And we'll let the data come along. Matter of fact, we're going to reset the plot. And we're going to let the data come into this area. And you'll see that the points are not connected, but they're going to be just a series of individual dots. Now, if we connect the points and we reset our plot, we'll see the data come in with the points connected. OK, there we are. So that gives you some idea of what the capabilities are for this interface. Let's come back to a more normal looking plot. We can plot three sets of XY data against one another. And uh, there are certainly different applications for your data. And presuming that your data is not all sine wave like we have in this example. So please choose to consider this interface as a possibility for plotting your data in a more non-traditional fashion.